I want to ask you something um, a little messy first. Did you have any rivals, like, coming up in music? Did you have anybody that was like, oh, I can't stand her. I'm never going to sing with her. Guess what? I don't think so. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't think so, Angela. I mean, if they did, they kept it to themselves. <laughs> and I'm happy because I would feel so bad if somebody didn't like me. <laughs> so, no, none that I know of. That's great. No. But I had some men who didn't like the way I performed. Uh, and I heard about it in my first book, Don't Block the Blessing. Mm -hmm. okay. It was Wilson Pickett, um, James Brown, and a few other gentlemen. Uh, Al Green. Okay, it's a story, a big story about my life and working with men. So I recorded with Wilson Pickett, six, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. That song, right? with Sarah Dash and Nona Hendricks. And at the very end, I did something that he didn't like very much. I went off a background and went, why don't you call him? And I, when I sang that part, he was so mad at me. He said, if I had a gun, I would shoot you. I said, really? No! Back in the day stuff. It's real, because it's in my book. So nobody's going to beat me up for telling the truth. And there was an incident with my favorite man, James Brown, at the Apollo Theater. We were at the opening act, and he had to follow. And we were singing Danny Boy and You'll Never Walk Alone. And we got standing ovations for the whole time we were on. And so James said to the curtain guy, shut the curtain on those witches with a beat. I said, woo! So they closed the curtains on me, you know. And then later after James and I got over that, he said, Mr. Bell, you know what? You're so fabulous. And I think you should do something for the young girls. I said, like what? He said, start a culture class. He said, because you always have your nails done, your hair done, and you're always wearing the right clothes. And what a compliment. So from a downer to an upper. So in my life, I've learned that people don't really don't like me. They don't not like me. They just can't understand a woman doing certain things that I do. And I was born this way. Wow. So I take those as compliments. And there was a, an Al Green moment when we were doing Arms to Short, the Box of God. And we were on Broadway. And, oh, this is such an ugly story, though. But I'm going to tell you, okay? So at the time, my sister, Barbara, was struggling with cancer. And there was a matinee that day and an evening show. So I wanted to go home for the matinee. Mm -hmm. And so um, the Met Carol, the producer, said, Miss Bell, you can go home. You can, you can go home. And so Al Green, we're all in the basement of the theater. And we so home. I'm going home. So it was like so ugly. I said, but I'm going home to see my sister who's not well. He's dying of cancer. I don't care about your sister. Why do you want to say that? Girl, I took a glass. And my friend Norma, who used to do all those crazy hairstyles, took the glass from me because I was going to cut it. And since then, he's apologized. But I've had so many funny moments with certain people in this industry. Oh, my green peppers and onions are sauteing. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, those are two stories, uh, but I've been through a lot in my life, and so many ups, so many ups. And like right now that we're all in this dilemma together, mm -hmm. I think we all would take that being ugly you said about anybody, because life is precious, it's always been. But at this time, we have to congratulate, we have to, even if you don't just see you like me, because times are rough, and we're all touched by it. Mm -hmm. Family members, friends. And so I think it's time to be kind. Yeah. It's always time to be kind. But right now, we're seeing life lead just like that.